Hello, this is Nurseman from the Max on Training Team. And in today's quick tip, I'm going to show you how you can blend between two displaced objects. These are two planes and they have displacements. And I'm going to use the cloner in blend mode to blend between them. And this can even have animation and all sorts of fun stuff. A common misconception is to use a displacer deformer. Now it is handy because it offers some modes like intensity centered or intensity to go only in the positive. But as far as the intensity and intensity centered, because it's using a shader to do this displacement, the shader parameters are not accessible through the cloner blend mode. And what you will get is these two sets of objects. Uh, half of them are going to be one plane, the other half the other plane, and any blending is going to occur on the parameters either of the plane object, because it's procedural, or the common parameters of the displacer. For example, if you change the height, the height is going to blend. What's not going to blend is the noise. So let me show you how to set this up without using a displacer. I have removed the displacers, and what I'm going to replace them with is a plane effector, I'm going to put it on one of the two planes and turn the other one off. And in the plane effector, I can set the parameter to the Z value. Nothing is going to happen now because I want it to be in deformer mode. So now we're pushing the points up and down just like the displacer does. In the fields of the effector, I'm going to go and add a random field. And I'm going to select the equivalent noise to the one I had in the displacer. Let me pull this up and let me go in here and use the Luca noise, which was the one I used. And of course, change the scaling to make it nice and set it to whatever shape you want it to be. Because the field and the effector are accessible through the cloner's blend mode, the next thing I need to do is just take these two and copy them to the other one and change whatever parameters I want for this particular noise. I'm going to change the scaling, turn this on so I can see both of these objects. And now you will see that in the cloner with the blend on, if I turn it on, we get a full blend of the two procedural shapes. Now, the one thing we didn't address, let me turn these off, is the fact that we're displacing only in one direction, only in the positive. And I want that centered parameter from the displacer. That's very, very simple. Select your random field and make sure in the remapping, instead of minimum, maximum, zero to 100, make it minus 50 to 50. And the second thing you need to do is go to both effectors and unclamp the list. You can't do it with a multiple selection, so select them one by one and make sure that the lists are unclamped. And now it's going to divide that value and go halfwards up and halfwards down. And this should be the full reproduction of your effect. Let's go and add a bit of animation to our fields. And there you have it. If you enjoy our quick tips, please like, comment, subscribe, and enable notifications so you never miss another quick tip.